Welcome to Landriac on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears, live that beautiful, awesome life. Fear is the only thing that keeps us from it. Fear that I'm going to get something that I don't want. Fear that I'm not going to get something I want. And then you get it, and then you're worried about not, you know, about losing it or not having enough, blah, 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 blah. Hey, by the way, so, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Oh, 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 this is funny. You've got to see, this is like, Right, there's this Jack Russell on a skateboard and it's, oh, it's so cute. And wait, oh, there's my neighbor. Let me take a picture of that. And, huh, let me take a picture. Oh, that's, that is fun. Wait till she sees this. I think I need to post this on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, oh, you should see what my friend's eating for lunch. This is great. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I being rude? That's okay. Let me take another picture. I just got to send one more text. Just one more text. And oh, oh, I think this is my friend calling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he didn't know. Really? Is that you? Yeah, I have friends that will sit there and text and, and be on Facebook while they're with me. And my question is, am I boring you? Maybe I am. Maybe they should stop hanging out with me. They're addicted to it. You know what that is? That's you not focusing on where you are right now. That's you wondering why you can't manifest your reality because you're focused on everything but that. That's you not being in the moment. That's you wasting time. And I'm not saying everything, but I'll, I'll bet you 90% of the stuff that you're doing, texting, posting, is not contributing to anything really positive in your life or other people's. You're ranting and raving about politics and, and complaining about the world is not solving the problems. We solve the problems. We're the ones in charge. Not the governments, not anybody else. We get to choose how we act and what we do in our everyday life and how we organize ourselves. And we get to choose if we're going to use technology for good or if we're going to allow it to pull us away from what's really, truly important in life. So put the Jack Russell on the skateboard down and listen to what your friend has to say. And just listen. And then maybe you have something wise to share with them. Or maybe you just listen. Or maybe you turn the TV off and you go sit out on your deck or your porch or on your front lawn you have a glass of wine or tea or whatever it is and you just just enjoy the night or you do what I do I grab a bottle of champagne and I go out on my curb with glasses and um, when my neighbors walk by I call it my curb party and I say I, I call my neighbor over and we sit there and we drink champagne when somebody comes by I offer them a glass of champagne and they'll sit down and then somebody else will come by and they'll sit down. <laughs> Pretty soon, my neighbors over there, was three girls, young girls that moved in, they all came over and sat down with us old broads and had some champagne and we had a blast. And I call it my curb party and it got, it's gotten to be sort of a fun little thing that we do when they see me out there sitting with, on the curb with my neighbor, they know I'm having a curb party. People walk, walk in their dogs, we visit with the dogs, I give them water. How much fun is that? These are things we can do in our modern lives. Instead of, remember they used to sit around the camp, well we don't remember, but they sit around the, you know, the campfire and tell tales, legends and stuff. Well, throw a curb party and leave the phone in the house. Leave the computer in the house. I mean, you're talking to somebody who works for a living on a computer. That's how I communicate. And I have to focus on what I'm doing and making sure what that action is, is contributing in some way. That's not always easy. There's a lot of emails that come over. You know what I do? If they're not contributing to my good or anything else, I unsubscribe. I don't want to waste their time either. So... Are you one of those people? Are you addicted to Facebook? Are you on your phone with your, when you're with your friends? I noticed that when people are by themselves, like at the airport when I was just flying back from uh, Palm Springs, everybody's on their phone. Very few people could just sit there and have a meal 
or enjoy their time waiting for the, you know, the plane to come in. They had to be doing something all the time, and this is where the ADD and the blocking and the, all the, the lack of focus comes in, and then people wonder why they're not manifesting what they want. It's because they have no focus, no attention, and then they're worried about the news and the hurricanes and the wars and the whatever else is going on out there. They get consumed with the negativity, and even when you're looking at the cute, you know, Jack Russell on the skateboard, It'll make you laugh for a few minutes, but how much time are you spending with those things instead of creating your own fun stories? Now, don't put your Jack Russell on a skateboard. <laughs> I had a Jack Russell. You probably wouldn't do it anyways. They can't pay attention for more than five seconds. But I think it's time for us to start creating our own fun traditions and start enjoying our life. What one can you start today that will... But have you focus on enjoying life and those are the feelings and the emotions that we create that manifest that life for us, that create that life for us. Enjoying your friends, listening, feeling, sharing positive stories and doing wonderful things. Those are the things you'll remember up the road. Not what meal your friends eating or taking pictures of your food. Not because you're a chef, just because you want the world to know what you're eating and where you're eating it. That's self-consumed kind of mentality, especially here in the United States. Try to pull away, step away from the cell phone or the computer or whatever else you're doing, at least for a little while, and see if you can't clear a space and, again, manifest the life that you love. Don't focus on the fear. Turn off the negative news, turn off the negative programs, turn off the negative whatever you've got. That's a nice case, isn't it? <laughs> got to ha have a little bling on it. You know, I love you guys. All right, I just want you to be like living this awesome life that you deserve. Remember your mantra, I am whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Thank you for all the miracles you're sending me every day. Thank you for all the wonderful things I have in my life. And thank you for this opportunity to be here on this earth, to raise my frequency and reconnect with you. I know I have a mission to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to share my love and light with everyone. And of course, I'm going to receive it. And I welcome that. I welcome that for you. Namaste.